hello everyone so today i am going to explain you about fatigue what is fatigue fatigue is a form of failure what is fatigue fatigue is a form of failure when a structure such as a bridge aircraft and machine components etc is subjected to fluctuating stresses then it is possible for failure to occur at a stress level considerably lower than the yield strength what does this mean this mean that when some structures such as bridges aircraft and machine components etc when they are subjected to fluctuating loading what is fluctuating loading fluctuating loading is a loading in which the load is not constant this is constant c this is constant loading but fluctuating means the load is not constant it is changing or loading in the form of sinusoidal wave is fluctuating how uh, fluctuating loading have one maxima this is positive highest value and one minima this is negative minimum value suppose this is sigma max and this is sigma min so this is constant so a loading which is constant does not lead to fatigue but loading which is cyclic in nature or loading which is fluctuating or varying which changes with time cause fatigue failure fatigue failure generally occurs this is our stress strain curve in which this type of curve is obtained where this point somewhere here is the yield point what is this yield point yield point tells that if we apply stress then till yield point or yield strength the material will come back or will regain its shape that is it has elasticity and if the stress or strain occurs or the stress strain values goes beyond this yield point then the permanent change of shape or permanent material will mold or it will change its shape it will not return back by fatigue or by failure of a component it does not only mean break that is if a this is a material and it has broken in some parts or it has broken into pieces then this is not the only kind of failure by the word failure we mean that suppose this is some component and if this component does not work as it is designed or at as or for the work it is made then this is also failure and here failure means if we apply if we apply load then then if this is the yield strength and if a, if a material is applied load beyond this yield then permanent permanent molding or permanent change of shape will occur but in fatigue failure even before this yield stress or yield strength of the material is reached even before that strength the permanent molding or permanent change of shape of the material occur so this is a kind of failure generally material does not fail they return back to their original shape or elasticity is followed but in fatigue failure this elasticity range is decreased so this is failure this kind of failure we are dealing in fatigue fatigue normally occurs after a long period of repeated stress or strain cycle that is fatigue this is fatigue failure occurs after long cycle chain and this fatigue is sudden in nature that is it does not show any sign of breakage suppose this is some material then the crack suppose this is some crack uh, taken place at its surface then the crack propulsion will not be shown the material will break suddenly at some time so, so the propulsion or the movement of crack is not visible but it will occur at a sudden rate or the rate of occurrence is very fast so this fatigue failure is very sudden in nature
when a material is subjected to repeated stresses it fails at stresses below the yield point such type of failure of material is fatigue so fatigue i think is clear what is fatigue fatigue is breakage or failure of material before its yield point when applied with repeated stresses or cyclic loading and cyclic loading is what if this is a material and at one time at time t1 this surface is applied with compression then after time t2 this same surface is applied with tension and again after after time after some time or some at time t3 this point will have again compression at time t4 this will have tension where this gap between t1 and t2 is cos some constant and this gap is also some constant which are equal so after equal time interval or after equal gaps this same point will will be observed with compression and tension both so this type of loading is cyclic loading or fluctuating loading the fatigue failure is caused by means of a progressive crack formation which is usually fine microscopic size this property is considered in designing many parts such as shafts connecting rods and springs etc and generally when we talk about fatigue we have two common terms that is fatigue life and fatigue limit what are these fatigue life and fatigue limit fatigue life is defined as total number of cycles what what does the word cycle means here cycle means suppose we are having this material and we are applying load at this point at the same time we are also rotating this material so this is called rotating bending test this test is done for finding the fatigue strength of a material we are applying load and also we are rotating so that that is due to this rotation and this type of uh, this type of test this same point observe tension and compression both so this this material at some point will observe both the tension and compression so this is a kind of rotating bending test where stress or this force varies and we are able to get or to know when the material will break by the word cycle here we mean suppose this is some circular body and let us consider this is one point so we apply force here now this when we rotate this same point will cover this peripheral distance so by the by the term one cycle we mean the distance covered or thus the path covered by this point in traveling from this whole peripheral distance so this when this point rotate so when it covers one whole one whole turn and return back to its same position then it is one cycle so what happens in this rotating bending test in rotating bending test we apply stress on this material and rotate so the number of cycles varies so the total uh, total number of cycle required to break or to bring about fracture in a material under an applied stress is defined as fracture or fatigue life not fracture but fatigue life what is fatigue life the total number of cycles this total number of rotation total number of cycles required to bring about fracture in a material by the word fracture we means failure fracture is also failure fracture and failure is not working of the desired material for which it is made not working of that material properly this is fracture or failure so total number of cycles required to bring fracture in a material under an applied stress is defined as fatigue life okay so how this this rotating bending test when this rotating bending test is done then a graph between the strength or stress and number of cycles log of number of cycles is obtained and in this graph we have this type of curve where this this point is the fatigue limit what is this fatigue limit the fatigue limit represents the largest value these are the number of cycles the largest value of 
fluctuating stress this largest value that will not cause failure for essentially an infinite number of cycles that is if this is some material and it is given infinite number of cycles or rotated infinite number of cycles then the maximum value of the stress which is applied on this on this body and and due to this stress the material will not break or will not fail so this is fatigue life what is fatigue life uh, sorry fatigue limit what is fatigue limit fatigue limit represents the largest value of fluctuating stress this is stress the largest value of this stress that will not cause failure for an infinite number of cycles infinite number of cycles generally the fatigue limit ranges between 35 to 60 percent of tensile strength so it is a key point or a note note kind of thing 30 to 60 percent of tensile strength this limit ranges so this is what is about fatigue and how this fatigue failure occurs there is one mechanism of this fatigue failure in this mechanism first we have nucleation of crack what happen in this nucleation of crack nucleation is caused when maximum strength sigma max this maximum strength fluctuates between tension and compression in a material suppose this is a kind of some material this this is some kind of some material and when this maximum stress fluctuates at a point between compression and tension that is this same point is applied with compression and tension and the compression and tension fluctuates or the cyclic loading is applied on this point then this nucleation of crack takes place by the word nucleation we, we means born or the govern or the bonding or the governing of the crack takes place when at the same point on a material the sigma maximum the maximum stress fluctuates between compression and tension in a material after that we have the crack growth what happens in this crack growth crack growth grows the microscopic size of the point that is or the crack it in in this crack growth phenomena the microscopic size the very small size of the crack which which was governed when the loading was loading was cyclic of sigma maximum or maximum stress then the crack is growing now so this second step is the growing of crack in this in this process the crack which was formed it grows or or it enlarged in size so this is nucle nucleation of crack in crack growth this same crack becomes something some larger in size so this is crack growth after that we have crack growing to tiny size tiny size means now the size is visible from the neck eyes or is visible if watched carefully till crack growth the very microscopic size of the crack grows something in size or it has increased in size a little but it is not visible from the neck dies but it has taken place or and it has grown inside the material or in the body or in the material body but in third step in crack growing to tiny size step the crack is now visible or it becomes visible to the eyes after some time due to continuous loading or continuous load cycles of the maximum stress in compression and tension on the same body so now this crack has become larger and now it is visible from the neck eyes and the, the fourth step the fourth uh, step of this mechanism is the fracture what happens in this fracture when the crack reaches to some critical size or when the cr size of the this crack pro propagates to some critical length then the result then the resultant of this is reduced effect of the cross sectional area of the material and thus stress concentration takes place which result in the breakage of material so now this crack due to the finite size or visible size 
or some critical size the stress concentration takes place and the material break in pieces so if this was the original material then at some distance a very tiny nucleation of crack takes place this crack grows in size and some large size crack has taken has formed after that a visible kind of crack has taken place which is visible from the neck dies and after that the material breaks into pieces so this is material break and this material break occur very sudden or it is sudden in nature you won't be able to get when the material will break and all this happens due to stress concentration at the at the uh, at the crack point what happens uh, if this material is applied with some load suppose this p is 10 kilo newton and this is applied on the both side then the stress concentration or high stress high stress are applied near this crack due to which it breaks more easily than other parts of the body due to the decrease or change in area so the stress concentration occurs due to the change in area this crack made the made the area to decrease and thus more effect of this uh, this force occur at this point and the material break so this is a general about uh, about fatigue and what is this fatigue fatigue when a material is subjected to repeated stress it fails at stresses below its yield yield strength and due to this such failure break the material and this is fatigue failure it happens due to the cyclic loading so this is a general discussion about fatigue thank you